All right, all right, what is up? What is going on? We're not gonna see very much. I'm like, I'm not here to actually play, actively play this for you guys. I'm still in the learning process. I'll get into it in a second. But basically, I wanted this to mostly be, com be complaining about Demon Souls. And here's why. So, my life has not been fantastic for the past week and a half. I've just, I've kind of been getting consistently bitch slapped by various elements of the world for the past week and a half. It's just, you know, it's not, it's kind of just been one bad thing after another. Like, nothing completely terrible. It's like, oh my god, my life is over. You know, I'm not going all teenage female drama that would belong in Mean Girls kind of a deal. I'm not going that far, but it's definitely just not been my favorite time of life for the past little while. So, last night that culminated in me being unable to sleep. That's not exactly a new phenomenon, but usually I at least pass out for like an hour or two. I couldn't even get that. I was just wide awake the entire time. My mind would not stop thinking, you know, emotions swirling around, all that stuff. So I just couldn't sleep. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play, I'm just play some Demon Souls. Maybe it'll wind me down. Bad idea to play one of the Souls games to try and wind you down. Those games are basically designed to wind you up. That's kind of the point of them. But anyway, uh... I've been going through is trying to play as a dexterity based character and the Shrine of Storms is just murdering my day. Ruining my day. Uh, World 4-2 is the particular offender here and the reason for that is that they keep throwing you on these tiny little pathways on the side of a mountain. It's actually just this one really, I mean there's multiple sections that are bad but there's this one that was just really bad where I was like about the table flip and just throw my PS3 through the window, and then run outside and stomp on it a little bit, then uh, rip it in half, all King Kong style, so I could get to the disc that is in there, and then snap it in half in the middle of the street, and just chuck it like I'm throwing a boomerang or something, and then hoping it comes back so that I can punch it out of the air and shatter it into a million pieces, and then fall to my knees like I'm in Rocky and just scream. That's how bad it was. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Very aggravating part of the game, to say the least. And so finally I was like, you know what, let me see what the difference is in difficulty here between this melee character and a magic based character. So like I said, because I could not sleep last night, I didn't have really have anything to do. Uh, like I'm caught up on all my homework, uh, I didn't go into work, I didn't have anything to do. I went through, I have almost beaten the game now, I need to go to one little side area that I got a key for uh, directly before the... Uh, I'm not sure where I'm at with the finale like I know I know how it goes because Demon Souls has been out long enough and you hear enough discussion surrounding boss fights and all that that I do know that I still have one more boss fight that uh... But, but anyway so I did what is technically supposed to be considered like oh this is supposed to be the final fight ooh and then it isn't the final fight um and so that was the only fight throughout the entire now just to say again I just ran all the way through that. I think I'm at like 10 hours right now. I have barely leveled up anything besides magic and intelligence. And I rolled through the entire game. Just rolled through it. Almost without death. I, pr I died less than 10 times. Ah, no, I didn't die. I, I died less than 10 times until the blue dragon. But the blue dragon is a bitch. <laughs> so, but up until the blue dragon, at the very end of the game, uh... I did not die to a single boss. I died to a few moments, but they were few and far between. Anyway, just to get to the crux of the matter, the disparity in difficulty between a magic user and a melee user is ridiculous. In False King Alant, which was the last boss fight that I did before I had to go to class, was the only boss fight that I had any difficulty with, and the only reason is because I am purely a caster-based character. Like, I do no damage with weapons, I barely do anything with anything besides magic, and he doesn't take damage from magic. <laughs> he does take a little bit, thankfully, magic damage and fire damage are two separate things, so he does still take damage from fire, but the best fire spell I had was Fireball, which is decently slow and it wasn't doing a ton of damage so it was very grindy beating him and it was still it was very dangerous because he he hurts a little bit but in the entirety of the game that was the only boss fight that provided any sort of difficulty in the entire game 
It is ridiculous how much easier it is to be a magic user in that game than a melee user. It's crazy. So I just wanted to complain about that for a little bit. So you may be asking, yo, why are we here at Street Fighter? What, what are you doing, dog? So one thing that I have not done in my previous attempts, every single previous attempt to get into this game, I have never really sat down to try and learn it. I've always just been like, okay, I know like a couple combos in this character's normals. I'm totally ready to go. But I haven't really gotten into, you know, the nitty gritty. All the things, you, the fundamentals, the foundations of a character, building yourself up from the bottom. I've never really done that. And so I'm trying to just play for like an hour a day. Right now, this is only like day four or five of this. But I just play for an hour a day. I do a little bit of training mode. I do a little, and then I run through arcade mode twice. And I call it a day. And then after a while, I'm going to start hopping online instead of doing arcade mode. And eventually, I'm going to build myself up to a point where I am actually uh, worth recording here. But so the plan is to actually, like, you know, become competent at this game. And it's working pretty well. But the thing that is actually probably going to surprise everybody in the world, the character I'm using. Because, now, I am interested in playing, like, half of this cast. No joke. I, I'm not going to go through the entire list. But suffice to say, I don't have any, like, concrete, this is the character that I want to main. However... This is the motherfucker I'm using right now. I have no intention of sticking with him, but I am putting myself back to like the very the start line. Erasing everything I've done before, erasing all knowledge I have basically of fighting games and building myself from the ground up. Because thanks to beginning like really getting into fighting games through Blaze Blue, and then after Blaze Blue, the main game that I played the most was Marvel. I don't really have strong basics, strong fundamentals. It's that especially was exacerbated by the fact that I picked Tager first. Tager doesn't have strong fundamentals. His entire strength as a character is based upon reading your opponent, uh, figuring out habits, figuring out, you know, basically maximizing the potential of your rock, paper, scissors in your favor. So I did myself no favors by picking Tager first because I didn't really learn how to play fighting games. I learned how to play Tager, but I didn't learn how to play fighting games. And then Marvel is just kind of a class of its own. Like, you don't really... you can, It does help you. Like, Marvel, regardless of everything else that ever happened in Marvel, no matter what, Marvel helped my execution exponentially. I was not really able to uh, accurately do most things on a consistent basis before Marvel, but then because of how much I played Marvel and because of the diversity and rapidness with which you need to do motions, that helped me immensely. But that's what Marvel did. Again, it didn't really help me learn, you know, neutral game stuff, didn't help me learn fundamentals, spacing, all of that. It was just, you know, I just went nuts. That was what I did. I just went nuts. That was how I had fun. But so the entire point of this is I need to learn how to not be not. I need to learn how to be patient. I want to learn how to zone, how to get around zoning, how to do all of this stuff that I've never bothered with previously. So we're just going to see a really quick run through right here of this bad boy. Just to show you my wonderful four days of progress, three days of progress. Has it been three or four days? I think it's been four. But yeah, the main thing that I need to work on is FADC stuff. FADC stuff is hard. See, spacing. Spa I did not mean to do that. God damn. God damn. God damn. My progress? Amazing. Oops. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Everything died. Well, not everything, just just the computer. But so uh, I decided to wait until the rival fight because the rival fight and Seth are actually kind of barely passably challenging for somebody of uh, my scrubby stature. Oh God! See, they can do stuff like that. They know. They know, dude. And that's what I should have been doing all along. Look at that ba- oh. oh, That bait and that wonderful crouching light kick punish. Still should be punished. Oh god. What the heck? 
noted. We'll have to be careful of that. Oh my goodness. Fuck. No surprising. I'll have to, yeah, that's see that's why you need to sit in training mode and actually do shit. So you know stuff like that happens. You don't look like a goddamn moron when the situation crosses your path. Yeah. Oh shit. That caught my crouching light kick. Ooh, that's fast. I would have thought I would recover. Jesus, I suck. I don't even know if that would have worked in the first place. That doesn't change the fact that I still suck. <laughs> That's why I need to work on that fake DC. Like I don't even know if that would that works off of a back dash. I think it only works off of four dashes unless you're in the corner. But again, I'm not sure. It's not like I'm it's not like I'm some fucking Street Fighter master. I don't know anything about anything. I'm a big dummy when it comes to this game, so I don't know why I'm trying to talk like, you know, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how this works, cause like Pretty sure doesn't mean a damn thing when you have made no effort to learn anything about the subject matter. I wonder if you can do like. God damn it. Oh. That's not gonna work now. That's gonna work now. <laughs> Oh, that's another thing. Doesn't matter how fast your reactions are when you're using a slow ass projectile full screen. Whee! Oh. Blown up. I got blown up. Oh god, Seth is blowing me up now. He's actually using moves. God, man, that, those, these DPs are doing no damn damage. That could have been worse. Oh shit. That didn't. I don't know what I was thinking there. What? I mean, if you want to give me a free win. What? It's okay. Oh, he knew. He knew the entire time. He knew the entire time. Oh my god. Wow, what a punish. What a punish. What a punish. What a punish. That was probably the most painful thing many of you have ever had to watch in the entirety of the game. And I am going to make you watch a little bit more. <laughs> I want to see if I can see. I want to see how many tries it takes me to hit that stupid ass link. <sighs> I should probably look up the wiki. The stage of battle is set. The battle has begun. Fight! Man. At least I got the crouching heavy punch out that time. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it only took me. What was that? Four tries? Three tries? Whatever. That that's actually less than I thought it would. 
Twenty-five percent, twenty-five percent success rate isn't bad, right? Oh my goodness, now we're less than twenty-five. Ooh, 